Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about the commonly asked SQL questions. To start with, I assume you're familiar with database and how it works, and then you understand the relationships between different tables and how to join them using the join class. I'm going to be solving these five questions in this video. These are similar questions asked when you go for an interview, and you're going to watch me solve this question on my SQL database management system. So. We'll be using three different tables to solve this question. The first one is employee table. The next one is products table. The last one is order details table. So let's dive right in. So this is the first question and it says select range of employees based on ID. So we just go select all form employees which is the table and then we're going to add a, a clause a condition where employees employee ID is between 701 and 708 remember there is a uh, condition here you know that's why we have the between anytime you see a range remember to always use the between clause so let's run this and see what returns cool so we have all the employees this is employee table and then we have the employee ID from 701 to 708 and this is how to solve question number one. So let's go to question two. So question two says return employee record whose area code is 253 and city is Tacoma. So we're going to use employee table to return this query. So we go select all from employee. That's the table employees. Where we're going to add the condition and area code is two five three, and we're adding additional condition MCD is to come. If you notice one thing that I did, I wrap the text. If it is text, you wrap it by putting inverted comma, the single inverted comma. But if it's numbers, you do not need to wrap it. So this is the query and I'm going to run this query right now to see what returns. Okay, so we have just one employee with the area code 253 and uh, um, employee city Tacoma but if you notice one thing if I remove some conditions from this query I'm gonna get something different let me do something briefly if I remove the second condition that uh, that says Tacoma that's a city and I run just the area code I might I don't know get more than one person depending on what we have in the database but let me run it let's see there we go so we have two employees with the area code 253 that means we have two employees living in that particular area you know with the code 253 now if I run everything together it's gonna return just one one employee so it depends on the uh, the query you are tr you are trying to run and then make sure whatever you are using to run your query is what you use to save your data in, in the database else you're going to get an error so this is basically uh, uh, question two so let's move to question three we're going to use order details table to return question three query so it says return product with the highest order from the other details table so we just want to return the, the 
highest quantity that was ordered you know so, and we can get this from the other details table so we go select max quantity ordered from order details okay so I use max here because we're returning the highest order the highest number of order that was done or that was raised so that's why I'm using max if we are looking at the, uh, the lowest when well, I'm gonna use a uh, minimum so let's run this and see what uh, returns so we see here that six is the highest order that was raised you know this might not be one item but you know this is just this says uh, six is the highest number you know if it were another number maybe five maybe ten you know the highest will be you know returned in our query this is just what was in the database I mean we're just working basically uh, with what we have in the database so six is the highest the maximum uh, order that was the maximum quantity of order that was you know raised so that's how to solve number three question so let's just go to number four question four says that we should return the second highest quantity ordered from order details table so we're still going to use the order details table to return this query but there's something slightly different from what we did earlier you know it says second highest which means that it's not the highest we're going to return I mean the next one you know to the highest so how are we going to do this I'm going to show you in a bit I'm going to select max quantity ordered from order details that's the table where quantity ordered not in that is another class we're gonna have a sub query right now it's gonna be querying a query so we open the parentheses select max quantity ordered from order details so this is saying that we should return the you know second highest so we already selected the highest right here and then this is the condition we says where quantity ordered is not in you know it's not going to be part of select mass you know which is this one we brought this query back to the uh, to this place and then it, sh it shows it in and as a sub query and see what returns highlight and then run so we have five you know the query returns five you know that means after six we have five so if we go to the you know let, let me just run the order details table to see the number of the quantity ordered of product ordered and so we can see for ourselves select all from order details so I'm, I'm just gonna run all the 
you know, rows and columns in the other details table to see what we have. Right. So this is, wow, these are the things we have. But if you look at the quantity ordered, if you just look at the quantity ordered, you know, six looks like the maximum number. If we run it, let me, let me run just this one. And then, here you go, we have on the six. So if I want to run just the, the order, the quantity order, the column, only the column for quantity ordered. Let's see, select quantity ordered. from all the details just to throw the columns for quantity ordered let's check so we see oh, this is just quantity ordered and we see that six looks like the maximum number so that's why we have um, you know six as the highest quantity ordered but for question Four that says that that says we should return second is you know just like we have here you know it gives us five so that's how to solve question four let's go to question five and the last question so this is number five question number five and then this is more complex than what we've been doing earlier and because we're going to be using a lot of clauses in this one it says return the highest product ordered, the order number, the product number, and the product name of each of the products. So it's kind of complex because it has a lot of conditions in it. We're going to be using in adjoint, we're going to be using group by, we're going to be using on, you know, in this same. Let's just dive right in. So we go select quantity ordered. order number p dot product name from other details which is the table we're picking from in a join so we're joining all the details table with the product table product p on so this is another class that we're adding Open parentheses, p the product number equals all dot other details. Sorry, all dot product number. We close the parentheses we then we add another clause we are we are quantity ordered in this is another clause we're adding open parentheses again select maximum quantity ordered Close the parentheses from picking from order details table. Other details, and then we group we group by, which is another condition. Remember, I told you we're going to be using a lot of clauses in this question group by 
product number. And then we close the parentheses. So let's run it and see what uh, returns. Here you go. So we have uh, this is the query and this is the this is the report that comes out of the query. So you know we have uh, order quantity ordered order number and product name as seen right here in the table. So this is pretty much uh, how to answer these five questions in this uh, video. Thank you so much for watching.